Hey everybody, welcome to Round TV and welcome back to my MLB 18 franchise of the New York Mets. This is episode 21. So if you guys aren't caught up, look for a playlist on my channel. And if you're new, subscribe and click the notification bell. Uh, I'll give you a little ding or notification whenever I come out with a new video. And if you like what you see by the end of this video, click the thumbs up button. I'm trying to get at least 3 to 5 likes. Um, it tells me you want to see more videos just like this. And uh, leave any comments below. Remember you guys are my co-GMs. Uh, with the Mets, so whatever moves you want to see, I will try to see them through, or at least try to approve them, see if it makes sense. Um, and we actually have a suggestion here, it says, uh, please get Mookie Betts. And I asked him who should I give up, he said maybe Nimmo, Cespedes, and Gisellman, but um, I don't think he trade Nimmo. Um, I, I think he's a fantastic player. Um, maybe Cespedes, maybe. Um, let's see if they're willing to do that. The UNS and Jaselman for Mookie Betts. I just want to see if that's a trade that's worth really going for. Uh, I think he's in the Red Sox, right? Yeah, Mookie Betts. Oh, he's an 88 overall. UNS is a UNS is a 90 something. I'm not sure if that's really from willing for me to trade for that. You know what I mean? Um, Mookie Betts makes eight mil a year. We could trade Familia now that he got traded in real life, as well as Blevins. Uh, more value, you guys want more value? Let's see. <coughs> I mean, Familia is a great closer. I don't know what they're thinking here, but you know, AJ Ramos. I don't want AJ Ramos. Oh wait, no, I don't want, I don't want to get rid of just on either, I guess. You guys want to value out of that? Come on, man. <sighs> AJ Ramos. No? Wow, these guys are being really picky about getting good monkey bets. I understand he's, a, he's an all-star and stuff, but I would never trade you want to this for uh, for monkey bets at this point because of the ratings. Um, I don't know if I would really do that. And let's see. It looks like they're pretty tight on money as well as we are, so I'm not sure if we can pull that off. trade that they really have for us is Jewish Familia and Jacob deGrom for Mookie Betts. I'm not, it's not smart. That is not a smart idea at all. Um, hmm. Let's see if there's any other suggestions that they got. No, that's really it. I'm not going to pull that off. I'm sorry. Getting rid of Jacob deGrom is too important for me. He is a freaking stud. He is a future Cy Young winner. Um, but yeah, so I'm sorry, the W machine, I can I cannot pull that trade off. Um, but here we are for this game. Uh, it's gonna be the Mets versus the Brewers. We're at 36 and 15. They're 28 and 25. We're going for the sweep. And Jacob Degasco for his 10th win of the season. So see you guys in Milwaukee. That is a nice hit ball by Rosario to the fence, and it's out of here. Oh, wait, no. Oh, wait, it's a home run. <laughs> I thought he knocked it back in, but that is a solo home run for Med Rosario to start the game. He hit that ball pretty deep, and I thought it was just going to be caught, but Rosario got a hold of it. That's the second home run uh, this series and the second home run of the year. Rosario taking a suitor deep, deep, deep center field. Let's take a look at our replay. So it was about a belt high pitch. I wasn't sure if it was gone, but he looked like he knew what was going on. And 
Uh, so the ball bounced, I guess, in or some graphical glitch, but it's a one nothing game. That's going to be a double by Todd Frazier, and it's going to be waved home. And Conforto makes it safe at home as 2 nothing Mets. That's an RBI double by Michael Conf uh, by Todd Frazier. And it's now 2 nothing Mets here in the first. And Todd Frazier continues to be a red hot, batting over 400 in the past few games. And he continues to provide for the Mets. base hit up the middle that's gonna be an RBI single for Travis Darno and he is safe at home and it's three nothing Mets that is some two out magic for Todd Frazier and Darno driving him in Grom deals full count to Lorenzo King to start the game Gum with a check swing that is out number one here in the first Here comes the Brewers starting lineups. Lorenzo Cain, followed by Christian Yelich, Ryan Braun, Eric Thames, Domingo Santana, Manny Pena, Orlando Arcia, Jonathan Villar, and Bren Suda in the ninth spot. Oh, that's going to be a two-run home run. That is a no-doubter. It's going to be two, three to two. Eric Thames with a no-doubter. That's the tenth of the year. Boom. As soon as he saw that pitch, he knew he had to drive it out. Going behind the foul pole, and it's out of here. That's a base hit by Jacob DeGrom. Look at him. Look at you, Jacob DeGrom, with a base hit. Two men on for Jonathan VR. Here in the second. That's a swing and a miss. That's another strikeout for Jacob DeGrom. But his pitch count is a little high right now. Two and two, Lorenzo Cain with runners in scoring position. Two outs here in the second, a lot of twos. He's able to get out of it with a, a little liner to Flores to end the inning. That is a no doubter from Michael Conforto. And that is a deep, deep shot in right center field. Michael Conforto showing he could hit lefties too, bringing a suitor. Uh, I mean, rather having giving suitor a, a home run. Mickey Cowley excited for this 4 to 2 lead, and Conforto hitting another home run as he meets Cespedes. Take a look at our replay here. Boom. Michael Conforto bringing the boom to here in Milwaukee. That is a deep shot. Anywhere, any other park, that would have been also gone, so. Nice bounce swing. Fordo with a homer. That's going to be base hit by Darno. He'll probably drive in Cespedes. And hits the wall, and you want to round third, and he's going to be waved home, and he is safe. That is an RBI double for Travis Darno. That's the second RBI of the game. And the lead is now 5-2, to two and the Mets are up again by 3. Travis Darno hitting the ball pretty well this season, I'm not going to lie to you. He's shown improvements, and I was actually thinking of getting rid of him eventually. That's going to be a base hit. Darno's going to be waved home to be played the plate, and it is safe as an RBI single for Juan Lagares, and it's now 6-2 to two Mets here in the third. Full count to Yelich. Ground throws. That is a swing and a miss on a changeup. Full count to Jonathan VR. Two outs. That's a swing and a miss. And the ground continues to mow everybody down in the Milwaukee side. That's the end of the fourth. That is another strikeout getting. I believe that's Lorenzo Kane on strikes. Just frozen with the fastball down the middle. Check the ground looking for his eighth strikeout of the night. 
Pitch goes to Ryan Braun, and it's a swing and miss. That is strikeout number eight for Jacob DeGrom as he continues to be nice and strong against Brewers. One in, uh, two and two to Domingo Santana with the man on first. That's a swing and a miss. That's strike out number nine. That's another strikeout. Strikeout number 11. I don't want to take him out, but he is going to be tired, but he is on fire. Full count. The man on. Going to be a base hit. That's gonna drive in Lorenzo Kane. It's gonna be six to four. Uh, Mets still with the lead. That is an RBI double for Christian Yelich. Things are still one and two to Arcia. Let me double play ball out at second. Out at first. That's an ending inning double play. AJ Ramos was able to find him way. Find his way out of the inning. That's an around the horn double play. Todd Frazier to Flores to Sacchini. Two and two to Christian Yelich. It's going to be a base hit. They're probably driving the runner from second. Play the plate. He is safe. Says six to five right now. I think I'm bringing Familia. I was trying to experiment here, putting in uh, Gisellman. That is not working, so here comes Familia. Two and two to Eric Thames. Base is loaded. This might be a double play ball out at second. Out at first. That is a game ending double play for Julius Familia, and he gets the save, and DeGrom gets the win. That was a nail biter, bringing it all the way to the end. <laughs> the base is loaded. And the Mets win six to five. That was a complete team effort. Jacob DeGrom with a heck of a game. Although he did give up four runs, he did have 11 strikeouts to seven innings. And yeah, uh, offensively, it was, uh, I believe it was Travis Darno. And uh, yes, yeah, Travis Darno really bringing the runs. He had two RBIs. Uh, as well as Frazier, Matt Rosario, and Conforto. Conforto actually had the home run, but. That was too close for comfort, man. Too close for comfort. Uh, but the Mets win, and we're gonna move on to the next series. I'm gonna see which game we're gonna we're going to what game we're gonna play here. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. So yeah, Jacob Degrom pitching that game. Um, then we had. Let me see. I'm trying to check who pitched what game. Um, In the previous videos, because I think that makes things a bit easier. Um, see which game we need to simulate here. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. We had Wheeler pitch the other game. I think that's where we won with the walk off. And then we had we had Wheeler pitch that game. Arietta, I don't think he's pitched in a while. At least I mean I haven't made a video with Arietta in a while. Um, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna simulate this game. I'm gonna play this second game of the series against Atlanta. So we're gonna simulate this game right here, and we already lost one to two. Stephen Matz gets his third loss of the season against uh, Moylan. Uh, let's take a look at the offense, or lack thereof. It was only an RBI by, by uh, Azul Cabrera. We did, we did have seven hits. I'm not entirely too sure what happened. Season, uh, but the next game is going to be with Jake Arrieta. Um, it's going to be the 4 and 2 Jake Arrieta versus the 2 and 2 Aaron Blair. Uh, the Braves are 21 and 33. The match are 37 and 16. Um, so, yeah. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this episode of my GM with the Oak with the OKC Thunder. Uh, my franchise with the New York Mets. Uh, if you guys like what you saw again, click the thumbs up button. Leave any comments below. And if you guys want to see anything going on in my season, let me know in the comments. And I hope you guys have a great day. Take it easy and peace.